Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and today I'm going to be setting up the Ubiquiti Cloud Key. So what I have here is the Ubiquiti Cloud Key. Basically, it is the Unify controller on a small network device that plugs into your local network. The beauty of using the Cloud Key is that you can keep your Unify controller hosted on your network locally without having to dedicate a computer to run the controller. Also, it gives you the option of not having to host the controller out on a cloud service such as Amazon Web Services or DigitalOcean, and yet you can still access your Unify Cloud Key by using Ubiquiti's cloud service. So this is the first time that I'll be setting up one of these devices, and I'm going to take you through the process as we go. Inside the box, you get the Unify Cloud Key itself, and you can see it has an Ethernet port on one side, and on the other side, it has a micro SD slot, a reset switch, and a USB power port. It comes with a small Ethernet adapter cable to plug into your switch, and that goes basically right in here. There we go. It comes with the micro SD card, and there's no way I'm going to read that without my glasses. Hold on. Ah, much better. Okay, so it ships with a Kingston 8 gig micro SD uh, class 10, so that's good. Let's get that inserted into the cloud key. Oops, I have it upside down. There we go. Oh, no, 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 maybe I had it right. Ah, yeah, there, I had it right the first time. And in addition, it comes with Ubiquiti Quick Start Guide. So let me get the cloud key plugged into the Edge Router X that I just set up in a recent video. I'll put the link to that video up above. Now I'll be using a 48 volt gigabit PoE injector to power the cloud key since the Edge Router X only supplies 24 volt passive PoE. I'll be right back. All right, so I have the cloud key plugged into the Edge Router X. And it, like I said, it's being powered with the 48 volt a gigabit PoE injector. It's all powered up and ready to go. So let's click on the UBNT discovery tool. And by the way, this is a Chrome plugin that you can download from the Chrome store. And I will include that link in the video description uh, down below. So the Unify discovery tool has found my edge router, but let's click on Unify family and say find cloud key. And there we go. Okay, so it gave it a DHCP address on the network of 100.39 and it says the status is pending. So let's go ahead and click. And it says now that the connection is not private and that's okay because it's using the built-in certificate. So we're just going to click on advanced and proceed to 100.39. And it brings us to a login page. Actually, we have two options. We have the option of managing the Unify controller or configuring, or the option of configuring the uh, Unified Cloud Key. So let's start by configuring the Cloud Key so we can um, get it at least a static IP on the network. So let's click Configure. And let's put in the default password of UBNT, UBNT. Okay. And it is prompting us immediately to change the password, which is a good thing. So let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, and submit. Okay, so the password was changed successfully. And we are on the main status page. And it's just basically giving us information such as the device name, the uptime, the MAC address, um, the version, version 0.5.2, and the disk space being used. Let's go over to the menu and see what configuration has. Okay, so it looks like here we could change the basic settings. So I'm going to basically change the name. Since this is going to be a unified controller in my lab, I'm going to call it Quick Tech. Oops, Quick Tech Lab. Cloud key, that's fine. Let's change the time zone since I'm on the um, Eastern time zone. If 
There we go. The reset button I'm going to leave enabled and we're going to change now the uh, network settings over to a static IP. So we'll give it a static IP of 100.3. We'll leave the net mask, the subnet mask the same. The gateway is 100.1, that's fine. The primary DNS 100.1 is fine and it's picking up the um, interesting it's picking up the secondary uh, DNS that I guess I entered into the router uh, when I configured that. So let's go ahead and say apply changes. Okay. It seems to be now not redirecting me. So Let's go ahead and come back up here and change this to 100.3 and log in again. Okay, there we go. Click advanced. Proceed to 100.3. There we go. And we are back. So let's just go back in and just check and make sure everything is good. Okay, so there we go. It took the new name. The IP information looks good. Let's click on maintenance and see what we can do there. Okay, so under maintenance, we can change the password. We could change the username. Uh, we have actions, uh, maintenance, reboot, power off, reset the defaults. Okay, here, here we go. Firmware version. So it shipped with version 0.5.2. Let's check for updates. And it says there is version uh, 0 0.7.3 available. So let's go ahead and say update now. And it says here, do you want to update the device now? Updating the firmware will update the Unify controller. Oh, good. So it looks like it's doing both um, in one step process. So that's good. Let's go ahead and say confirm. And now it's starting the update. So guys, I'll be back as it's downloading now. I'm going to go ahead and install. I'll be back when uh, we're ready to go. All right, so the device downloaded the new software. It verified it, it installed it, and then when it was all done with the installation, it rebooted. The whole process took about three or four minutes, and then it did redirect me this time to the um, login page. So let's log in and check it out. Or not. Let's try this again. Oh, there we go. Okay. Took a little bit getting logged in there. Um, okay. So let's see. Everything looks good. Name, uptime. Uh, now the new firmware version 0 0.7.3. Good. Uh, let's go back to the maintenance tab and let's just check to see now that we have updates if anything has changed. So it gives us now the option to restore, perform auto backups, um, version 0 0.7.3 for the controller, and it updated the, um, not the controller, for the cloud key, and it updated the controller to version 5.5.20, and I don't think there are any updates, but let's just check. And no, see it says the firmware is up to date. All right. So let's log out of here and let's go back to 100.3. There we go. And now we're back at the uh, login page, which gives us the choice of managing the Unify controller or managing or configuring the cloud key. So this time, let's go ahead and click on manage the Unify controller. And we brings us to a setup wizard. So let's go through the process, guys. It says here, thank you for purchasing Unify Ubiquities Enterprise Wi-Fi solution. You will be able to set up your controller in a few minutes. Okay, so the country is good. The time zone is good. We're going to enable auto backup. Uh, that's good. Since this is the first time we're setting it up, we don't have any previous backups to restore from. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Please select the devices you would like to configure. There are no devices at this point in time. I'm just trying to get the cloud key configured and set up. So we're going to go ahead and say next. 
Okay, so you may skip this step. It's the configuring Wi-Fi step, but I'm going to go ahead and say Quick Tech Lab Wi-Fi. And I'm just going to give it a security key. Here we go. And optionally, you may create an open wireless network for your guests. I'm not going to enable guest access now. Um, that'll probably be a future video on how to um, create a guest network on a Unify um, access point. So let's go ahead now and say next. Please provide an administ administrator name and password for the Unify controller access. That's fine. Um, this will be. And the password, let's make it um, there we go. It's weak, but that's fine. This is just for the video and just for use in my lab. Uh, for the purpose of simplicity, I'm going to use the same name and password for SSH access. Oh, it's not letting me go through. So it actually wants a stronger password. Okay, let's do that. Let's try this one. No, let's see. All right, let's go back. Let's try this. There we go. Now we're good to go. Okay, now we'll click next. Review and confirm. Everything looks good there. And we're going to say finish. Please enter your ubnt.com account credentials. Oh, for cloud login. All right, so remember I said in the beginning that you can access the cloud key from any um, controller. Not from any controller, from anywhere in the world. I'm going to skip this for now. I'm not going to um, put my credentials in. Uh, but that's a nice feature, and maybe we'll do a video on that too as well in the future. But for now, I'm just going to skip. And we should be at the arriving at the dashboard. Oh, no, we're going to log in first. Okay, so there's version 5.5.20. And sign in. And now we should be arriving at the dashboard. There we go. Okay, so we have no devices uh, set up in the controller yet, so this looks normal. Um, you have your statistics, which again, we're not gonna have any. You have your, your map feature. Once we add some devices, uh, we'll, they'll start to populate here. In fact, in the next video, I am going to add the Unify Switch 860 Watt PoE. And once we get that added and adopted, then I'll do another video after that. And we're going to um, reset a UAP AC light back to factory default and then get it adopted in this lab controller. And then, of course, there's a clients tab. Again, nothing found. And then insights. And again, nothing found. So that's pretty much about it, guys. So that's the setup of the cloud key. Um, Unify controller in my quick tech lab and uh, I hope you found this video helpful and if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel put any comments that you have down below please like and please share my name is Tony with quick tech solutions I hope you enjoyed the ride and we'll see you next time